Hi, I'm Darren. Hi, I'm Jess. Hi, I'm Beth. And welcome back to 3 in 3. It's the 3 in 3! So this week we are talking about Instagram's new Telegram-like feature, LinkedIn carousel updates, and Google Analytics 4 now reporting on performance max and smart shopping. So our first update this week is that Instagram's new Telegram-like feature could help you reach your most engaged fans. So according to reports by app researcher Alessandro Paluzzi, Instagram is working on public broadcast charts, a one-to-many messaging feature. You can customise who can access the chat, including followers or subscribers, or you can pin the chat to your profile for anyone to find and join. It's a good feature, cool feature to keep updated on you know, more details about people that you follow, mm -hmm. influencers. I imagine they will try and sell things, yeah. and, like advertise things through the chat as well. But yeah, I think it sounds like a fun new thing. Yeah. It does seem quite like a like in a newsletter feature. It lets you kind of opt into the newsletter as opposed to just getting the email. So I yeah. feel like it feels like slowly but surely they're trying to make profiles an actual full web page. Like they're adding different functions doing that so you don't need to go anywhere else. Yeah. Everything's at one yeah. point. Mm -hmm. One point of call and it kind of gives you that full marketing platform within it, within it really quite interesting to see how they aesthetically set up. Yeah. Because it's quite crowded already. To mm -hmm. add more buttons and more sections would yeah, have to be a like full that. redesign. Yeah, that profile section, yeah. So our second update this week is that LinkedIn has announced that it's currently testing native support for carousel posts. So up until now, users had to upload pre-made multi-page documents in order to post carousels, but now select users can create these from within LinkedIn's post editor by selecting their chosen images or videos. I mean, finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I just can't believe that it's taken this long um, for them to do that. You'd think it was quite a simple... Mm -hmm change to make. Simple change in the back of the yeah. LinkedIn. <laughs> I think carousels are massive for those. As long as cause it, it lets you do a lot of graphics and stuff and stats yeah. and case studies and things as opposed to one simple image. Mm -hmm. But like I feel like when I do upload stuff, single images get a higher reach but they don't engage as much. Yeah. So we'll see how it works with the yeah. actual on page because if it's only for certain people that must tell me that they're going to push that as their main thing, that's their aim. Yeah. So like, I always feel like it's not meant to be the case, but when a platform tries like a new thing or introduce a new feature, I feel like that automatically gets more reach than every other thing. Yeah. Yeah, they'll push it out. Yeah. Because they're not meant to be. Succeed. They, yeah. I feel like they do. Yeah. They tell me they don't, but they, they, do. <laughs> they definitely do. They tell people at LinkedIn. <laughs> they tell me they don't do that. <laughs> And our last update this week is that Google Analytics 4 now reports on performance max and smart shopping. Data from both campaign types are now listed under a new channel group called Cross Network. You can access the data by looking for the Cross Network channel grouping in any report that displays traffic acquisition from Google Ad sources. What it will be is GA4 is kind of rolling out from July, I think, yeah. until next year. But it automatically feels you're still in beta mode because they constantly add stuff. Mm. So I think that must be one of the newer features to to add to make things a bit more simpler. It would save you having to go on ads on a like analytics and kind of cross platform and cross reference it. So mm -hmm. I think that makes it easier to get it in one place. Yeah. They're making it easier for us to understand where things come from. And hopefully these bring more features like that through. Mm -hmm. So I think from a client perspective, in terms of our reporting, it will make it easier to show clients, you know, the return and where it's come from exactly. So we'll be able to sort of show that to existing clients, show that to potential clients in case studies. Um, so it should sort of make that clearer for them as well. Thanks for watching guys. As always, let us know what you're looking forward to in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Good. So our first update, pardon? <laughs> I was laughing because I feel, I always feel like we should react to that. Next! <laughs> um, shall I say anything else? Which you'll see listed in reports alongside... It's the three in three!